Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and happy Canada Day! And Canada Day means it is now July, which is the same month that the Horse Ranch expansion pack is releasing. I thought it would be fun to go through some gameplay mods that I feel go pretty well with Horse Ranch, at least from what we know so far. I might also do a follow-up after Horse Ranch is out because there's probably going to be some other mods that will help make the expansion pack even better. But for right now, these are mods you can currently download and they're all free. They're not behind any sort of paywall. We'll start things off on a pretty cute note, which is the Rocking Horse by Panda Sama. Funny enough, this happens to be the first mod that Panda Sama ever made. And since then, it has been updated to be even better. And Sims of all ages, except for infants, can ride on this. So that's really cool. I was hoping there would be a rocking horse officially included in Horse Ranch, but looks like that's not going to happen going off of the build buy list. A couple of cool features with this is that toddlers, children, and adults with a childish trait will gain special moodlets after playing with it. Children and toddlers can name the rocking horse, and the toddlers can even nap autonomously on it. Next up is the Archery Mod by Jane Simpson. So I've actually done a whole video and a TikTok dedicated to this mod. It's just that good. I was really surprised. It's one of the most underappreciated mods that I've downloaded. Even if you don't get Horse Ranch, I still recommend getting this mod anyways. It is surprisingly in-depth and there's a lot of customization with the types of bows and arrows you can use. There's a whole skill level that you can build up and there's archery competitions both active and a rabbit hole. Plus children can get in on the archery action too. I think having an archery range would fit in really well with the vibes of the new world of Chestnut Ridge that is coming with Horse Ranch. And even if you were, say, not able to fit them onto the pre-made lots, you could still use the tool mod to place them just out and about in the world, and I think that could still look really awesome. Plus, yeah, it's nice to just fill the empty space with more things to do. Then we have the Functional Mechanical Bull mod converted from The Sims 3 Showtime, originally made by Necrodog but updated by Sepsid. Like the rocking horse, the mechanical bull was an object that I was hoping would return officially in this pack, but it's not. But I think this would be a great gameplay object to put in the saloon, especially assuming we get one with this pack. That would be very strange if we didn't, but I just think it would be a really cool just activity to have, especially with the country vibes of this world, and with horse riding being the center of this pack, riding the mechanical bull for a bit of practice, I guess. <laughs> I do find it strange though that with this mechanical bull, you only have always succeed or always failure as choices. You don't have choices where it's basically a random outcome like it was in the older games. Next up is the Straight Out of Compost Functional Compost Bin by Ravishian. So with this, you can turn almost any organic item like food scraps, leaves, and dust into fertilizer. It takes a few sim days, but your trash will be composted into nurturing fertilizer. And well, it's just a great way to also get rid of rotting leftovers. So I think as it is, this object already goes great with Horse Ranch, especially if you even have like cottage living and have a full on farm. And hopefully this could be updated once Horse Ranch is out because maybe then we could compost horse manure. <laughs> I think that'd be great. And also we are getting that new harvestable, the prairie grass. I think that could also make sense with this compost bin. So now, imagine your sim is riding their horse, but uh-oh, their bladder motive is really low, but there's no washroom nearby. <laughs> well, the Dragon Shop Community Kiosk, also by Ramachin, can come to your rescue. So I love this. This is easily one of my favorite creations by Ramachin. It's so useful, and one of the things is that, yes, it does have a gender-neutral washroom that your sim just disappears into. So especially if you do use the tool mod, you could place these around Chestnut Ridge, not just on your lots, but outside in the public space too. There's more to it than just being a public washroom though, because from 9am to 3am, you can purchase essential items like upgrade parts, ingredients, and starter musical instruments. You can sell craftables, collectibles, harvestables, and more. 
you can travel using the map for 10 simoleons. So it does add a little bit more realism to traveling, like as if you're about to take public transit since you are spending a little bit of money instead of it just being an instant map screen. There are also some cheat interactions available if you'd like to use those because you can immediately open or close the kiosk to enable the buy and sell interactions. And there's a few different things if you have Eco Lifestyle installed, like instant enact neighborhood action plans, instant enact community space projects, and instant repeal neighborhood action plans, and also being able to give your sim influence points by 15 every time you use it. Hopefully this mod could also be updated after Horse Ranch releases, because then it would be nice if our sims could buy supplies from this kiosk for their horses and goats and sheep. Just more reason to place those around Chestnut Ridge, even though I'm still gonna do it anyway. Now this last mod may sound like a bit of a stretch to go with this expansion pack, but hear me out. The Sunrise Alarm Clock by Lot 51. I'll admit, I actually just caught this mod very recently, but I'm thinking that especially if you are running a ranch, an alarm clock might be a nice addition because you might want to have your sim get up early in the morning, but they may have a hard time doing that. There are a few different options for alarms that you can set. You can set it to be a specific time, or you can set it to be career-based, so it goes along with your sims shift times if they are working a career or it can be sunrise based so that the alarm can wake your sim up at the crack of dawn which yes that totally would make sense for living on the ranch once you choose the type of alarm you can even set it so it only goes off on specific days what i like most about this mod though is the feature to subscribe to the daily report through the alarm clock so when your sims turn off the alarm, they'll get a notification with the local weather and news from around the world, which takes from the neighborhood stories feature. It adds a lot more realism to the game in general, like you just wake up to the alarm and listen to the radio and you hear the morning news. So there you go, there's some gameplay mods that I think go really well with Horse Ranch. Some help fill in the gaps and some just add some nice complimentary gameplay. Of course, the links to all these mods will be in the video description below. And feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Do you use any of these mods? And do you have any other mods that you could recommend that go really well with Horse Ranch? And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my latest gaming content. I will talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching!